Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones where you join me in the middle of our invasion of Castle Rene. Looking to take it back last episode we came up against finding a ton of long range spellcasters we wanted to lure resulting in Uwen taking the lead and securing his promotion to Druid. With Tana also at level 20 we now pull a load of warriors back to our party as reinforcements horsemen come from below. So what else have these guys got? So we got a steel sword, we got paladins basically, or great knights even with high defense values. Steel sword, axes in their pictures and they've got swords on. Steel axe, silver lance, paladins, a mix of promoted units, and one rubbish one, a remnant. Poor remnant guy. I abandoned a frame, I didn't even mean to. I really don't want you to be anywhere near the bolt. I know Garrick can kind of actually tank one. Garrick has done it in the past. He has a res of 5, which means he takes a fair bit, but his overall chances to not get crit are very high. But let's stand around and wait for the on rush. I mean, I'm fine with that turn. I just need to get Tana in the right place now. Problem is, I also just need to take on everyone there. Look at slow one and slow two. Thankfully, they're promoted units, though. So, Amelia will gain nice experience. Could I end up in a really bad spot because my promoted units are too far forward? We'll find out. Like, I knew there would be recruitment area as well, so I knew that this was a fair play to just leave them back there. I would have liked more units to go forward as he gets another astounding level considering his strength is capped. He just gained everything but HP. Is his HP capped too? Yeah, that's expected. Zero damage. Ah! Now that we don't want. Now, one of our issues here is I cannot choke that point. I see how much damage these guys do in general. Their hit rating is terrible. Uh. There's a Silver Axe there, but he doesn't even do that much extra damage. What's the hit rate on it? 70? Hit rate on a Silver Axe is 65, I think. So their hit rates are terrible. Essentially, I can leave Amelia. If I leave just Amelia, she will face everyone on her own. And she will succeed. Does she have any healing? No. So I kind of need to fight this guy. And then basically fight everyone. This is going to be interesting. I cannot use Tethys here. I cannot leave someone like Uwin in range of these guys. Because they might miss him. But they're going to do quite a bit of damage. So essentially I need these, these guys to go this way now. What I should do is take out this one first. And back you the hell off. Oh man, you can get attacked. And by the look of it, I have to actually move to here to engage them. Just to get Tephys well out of danger's way. She'll tank a bolting as she goes, so... Most likely, anyway. I think the overall chances for these guys to actually hit Amelia is so low that we don't have to worry. It's the Purge with a 36% hit. That's our real problem. Now if we went Javelin, we'd be in a bit more trouble, wouldn't we? So essentially, we're going to let these silly spellcasters plug away at me for a bit. Unless I can pull them this way, which I think I can. 
No, I can't. Because they'll still go for Amelia. I mean, I could move to here. And pull them back further towards me. And take less damage in a turn. That might actually suit me better. Yeah, that'll probably suit me a lot better. Tano and crew can go this way and they can sort out the thief that's coming in. Oh, this is problems, isn't it? I mean, I know Amelia could just stay there and, and tank it. It's not an issue for her. The issue is, do I want that to happen? So this pace, when I move her to there, only the mages will be able to attack. Tethys to absolutely zero damage. I can pull them in on some units, just lure them further and further. Everyone else can get away. And there's still enough range for like a couple of these Axemen to come my way. And then for me to like return or reply a different direction. The only problem is if something comes out of here. Could, could me playing aggressive screw me over? This is the actual meat of our story right now. Oh, have I still got Noss on? Oops. Let's go over to here. No one else can attack me. Trade here. The flux for the Noss. I'll change that a little bit. Do you have a javelin? Oh, you do. You can't even attack anyway. I'm going to attack you next turn. And we're going to intercept that. Right. So here comes the boltings and the whatnot. Of course, we still have to worry about what's over here. We need a swordsman at the front, don't we? No, we need a lance. A well, lance is what I'm lacking. We could send Eilika. She's got the rapier. That's a way of getting her some extra experience as well, isn't it? No one else can randomly reach. Cool. That's better. Oh no. Right, I have the option to actually warp over some support. I should have taken that. I should have done that. I right, gained some resin luck. What I should have done is probably warped Cormag. While he still, while he had the the promotion item for Tana, if I whooped him in, he could have given the promotion item to Tana, had one for himself. Tana could have promoted it again, gaining experience again, gone to attack. It'd be great. That would have been a better play by a mile. Well, we got a steel swordsman coming in. I can actually get in to be attacked here. And I do have a good weapon for it. So let them come. Happy birthday to someone on the world. Happy birthday to someone on the world. In the world. On the world. Around the world. Just someone. Happy birthday. Oh, we got a support finally between Natasha and Josh. Oh, ah, watch out. Ah, they're fighting. An arrow? Did someone set up a trap for us? Or is there someone here? An archer? Where is he? Joshua, you saved me. Thank goodness you were near. Yeah, well, I just happen to be in the neighborhood is all. I make light of it, but I truly appreciate that you were nearby. Well, uh, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. It's only thanks to you, Joshua. You saved me. 
I try to be more attentive to my surroundings. Yeah, well, it's not always easy, you know? Especially when you're working. You concentrate pretty hard when you're doing your healing thing. Just focus on your work and I'll keep an eye on you. Sound fair? Oh no, I couldn't ask you to spend all your time protecting me. What? You don't want me to? It's not that at all. I rather like... Uh, 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 um, never mind. Say, you want to make a bet? Another bet? Right here in the middle of this battlefield? What did you intend to bet on this time? Are you going to fall for me? Sooner or later. What? I'm betting, yes. Personally. Oh, this isn't the time for jokes. I, I just don't know. Hey, don't go running off. Oh, I wasn't even joking. Yeah, sure. So that's Karen, you've been gifted a sub too. Thank you very much, Judicious. Right. Let's let the hell come on and see what miscalculations I've made, eh? Essentially, we can bust some more of them. We just need... Will the Purge guy move now? That's why I'm wondering if the Purge guy will go after Amelia. I know Amelia could have stood there and took everything, but I'd rather lure these promoted units on someone that could get even more experience. That'd be nice. I'm sure what... Yeah, there we go. Oh, now the mage just can't attack, so that's cool. So one of them's now going to go for... You win instead. I mean, we successfully managed the pool. And Amelia can get actual experience. Here comes the Great Knights. Slowly. One day. So fast. And thank you for gifting the Killer Kentsu as well, Judicious. And one day. Good hit. Oh, you're dead. Life is bad. So he needs two more hits for a kill. Oh, they act oh there we go. One, two, in. I think Tana can go and resume being uh, the push pull at this rate. Look at his cool arms. Alright, in comes the thief. But he's got another door to go through yet. If we just kill him, that might work best. So Tana can't do anything, so it's just basically walk up to this guy and you can do oblivion. Ah, oh, one flux, you say? So we do get a door key there. Essentially, though, do we let him steal it and then try to take it from that way, or just leave it, just in case we can't get it as a drop item? Sutti's been gifted to as well, thank you, Judicious. Rain fortune upon all, to all comrades. That thou art. Right, so we got one steel axe here. I kind of want to force myself upon them, which sounds weird. I mean, most of them have the reaver. I mean, Ross can take both of them out on this turn. So let's let Ross take them out, because he'll promote. So Ilika needs to move slightly. Do I do the warp strategy? Oh, we didn't get purged that time. Okay, we're a bit too far away, are we? Well, at this point, we've actually blocked it perfectly. So Amelia holds the choke, but we're going to keep pulling them back. Look at the movement. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we can't go there if I put Amelia there. Or six, I can put Amelia there. So I can go to there. And to there. Gotta build up that weapon experience. I wonder if one of the other guys will use Physic. No one can reach her again. No one's gonna get in a ring. Someone's, you know. The bolting's still a threat, but I'm not sure where they're going to attack. So what I want to do... Alright, if we move one step back... 
Garrett, you're going to hear for now, though you'll want to be killing the uh, the guys next turn. So we need you still near. So if yeah, if you go one space up, Elica. All right, we now go to the supply. We're going to give in a Dramon Axe, and we're going to take our promotional item, which is an Ocean Seal. So we're about to get another promotion. This is the fun times. This is what Fire Emblem is to me, the best bit, you know? <laughs> Promoting at, like, level 20. That's the answer to moving for my vacation for my best friend's party. Enjoy. Thank you very much. I take it you won some kind of game of poker or something? Thank you very much, Judicious. All right, we'll stay with the Sword Reaver, because it does just so much nice damage versus Mr. Swordman. We still got to move uh, certain someone a little bit further away. Now here's the question: Do I bother warping? Because I can take from supply. Not sure. Ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can warp you in and get to give to Turner. I'm pretty sure that's how it'll work. So if I take from supply here. So I'll have to give in one Iron Lance. Technically his own promotional item, maybe? So I give in the Steel as well here. So we have options! So it's Elysian Whips, isn't it? Two of them. It's a weird use for Warp to just be a promotional item carry, but... Hey, it works, it works. Oh, what? You can only walk that far? Why is your whoop so crap? Don't bother then. It would work if we got to there. Man, your whoop sucks. Well, that would send them a bit further. Oh well. Yeah, they're both still in range of the bowling. If I can choke them here with uh, Garrick, Garrick can just level up. The thing is, trying to get Amelia not to kill too many. She's gonna get one. Warping only like 10 feet, that's, that's yeah, it's kind of crap to be honest. Right, Amelia reaches level 3, gains strength, speed, even more speed, even more strength, and some more luck. Well, this is all sword rank. Oh, Amelia's like, I'm gonna do a cool critical animation and kill this one too. You wanna give experience to Garrick? Screw you! What the hell, Amelia? These are promoted units. These are my only real source of experience. You will give it to me. <laughs> Wait, one of these guys didn't attack. Did I move to the wrong spot? Oh, so close. Oh, you have a hand axe. Time to annoy the hell out of this guy. Well, I guess Tana should now go up and resume her duties. <laughs> this poor guy. Just think how ab abjectly screwed he is. I wonder, if, will he move if I'm on the chest? Life is not going to work so well for him. Well, I might move to the wrong space to stop Ross getting another level. So that's not great. It looks like if I end things here, I'll be good for a turn. 
Otherwise, I'll just be facing everyone. Essentially, I'd need to attack and not kill the guy, which is not going to happen. Alright, crap hit there. The problem is everyone else who comes in afterwards. If he's got really that crap a hit against Joshua, then I could step forward with Ross and kill this guy. It would waste a tiny bit of experience. But then I could... So this guy's got an axe. Joshua can... No, he can't. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So we can't get there. Garrett could take this guy out. Because Garrett's not going to take this guy out before Amelia kills him. That's just the rule now. I mean, that's, that's Amelia's kill. Screw that. That's just Amelia's kill. I have Cormac. He does not have an axe reader, mind you. We could go against the Lance Wielder. We could send Joshua against this axe wielder. And take that axe wielder down with Ross. I'd want, yeah, you to end here, so you take the attack from this sword user and this lance user. Because why would he attack Ross? He'll probably attack Ross. Spoilers. But none of them are going to hurt Ross much. Oh, Cormag at all. Oh, wait a second, what am I doing again? Oh, I need to kill this guy and this guy. Yeah. <laughs> That guy is perfectly for you. Pay attention, Sam. Do the right thing. Sam battle him for a one-shot. Alright, level 18 Joshua gains some extra skill. He would be gaining so much speed if he actually could. Alright, we could do this. The chance of her taking too much damage in return is a bit too strong. I wouldn't be able to cover for her, I don't think. Actually, I would. I would. So if I put... I don't know. This is the greatest great general, obviously. He's got more HP randomly. No, nope, we're going this way then. That's just how it has to be at this point. I don't even want you to kill him. Any attack to you is wasted experience. <laughs> to be fair, I'm guessing he might have maxed out his HP. I don't know. But he has Max's strength, which is like, I don't know. Whatever with that one, eh? Alright, you should be able to kill these guys. Is the Iron Lance a better bet? No! Hmm. I could just take him with the Iron Lance, leave with myself a better hit chance. And let the guy move on to someone who would get more experience as well. Because he'd move on to Joshua. And he wouldn't hit. Yeah, let's do that. I could have promoted earlier, do you know what I mean? You know, hindsight is, you know, a thing. But I could have promoted him on that turn. Alright, getting some extra res there with some strength and skill. Nice. Right, so now he can attack Joshua. This guy can generally attack Cormag. He can also attack Ross, which will probably what he'll do and waste loads of experience. The gits. I'll attack Cormag. I wish he would. Everyone else is safe. We could heal up Joshua, I guess.
At least we don't have echoes people saying, I feel stronger already. You gained no stats. I'm the best. No, you're not. Shut up, Leon, until you become the best. Then, then you can shut shut up. Right, so this guy can move six. If I want to kill him with someone else, it is best if I move to here. Step way back. Right, so he can move to here and attack two. And he can attack there. So anyone just needs to be one square that way. So Renak. Lavishel. Just check again that no one's in range while I can still rescue. Unless there's attack range, so we can leave it to Garrick to follow up on him after that. Mage can hit Melia. Of course, it's not going to do anything. And hopefully, the Purge is in range. I feel sorry for this mage, uh, this thief. But Joshua was right there. Well, that's a load of waste experience. And they're promoted units. That really sucks. I guess you would have had a hit chance. Yeah, attack Cormag. That makes more sense. At least Cormag gets something. Wow, that was a ton of wasted experience. But now we can begin advancing again. Zero hit, one damage. <laughs> Do you think that thief is there going, oh, sh <laughs> Let's open the door. He's just like, damn. <laughs> All right, can you take this guy out? Oh yes, definitely. So you may as well use up your last two charges there and get a fair amount of experience. Get him! You didn't have to second attack critical, we could have done it first one, save one charge, you still sword, which isn't exactly that useful. Alright, so Garrick levels up to level 19. Oh, gaining strength, skill, speed, and res. Nice levels. Except for, I guess he took maybe some of Ross's juice. Maybe. Kill this guy for this, Alika. Iron Sword will do it, yeah? With no crit on their side? Great. I'm gonna kill him before he has a chest. I'm just gonna nuke him now. He's, he's gotta die. That's how it is. Alright, Amelia. Somehow, in all of that, Amelia did not get hit one single time. Go, Amelia. Technically, we should send Tethys in the bowling range. So, time to tank some more purges. So, he's not going to come and cast Divine on me. So, what I'll just do is stay there. This guy's going to move in after the fact and try to attack me. But, let's face it. We all know what's going to happen there, right? We might miss! Don't be silly. Alright, so all the chests are safe. We've killed pretty much everyone. We just need to tank the spells. Time for you to promote as well. At least you'll get some stats this way. So we've got two choices. Warrior, which is the enemies that are coming towards us. They have axes and bows. Or Berserker. Fight his own broken mountains at sea. 
So we can attack from two range, but we can attack from two range anyway because we have hand axes if we want. Or we can just go Mega Berserk, still by the look of it. Oh, mountains. So by the look of it, we retain our ability to walk on water. We'd also gain an ability to walk on mountains without penalty. But we'd only just have axes. Yeah, that's an obvious choice. Plus, don't they get like a crit buff? Like Berserkers, honestly, if I remember right. Look at Ross! Gotta get his chest out. Alright, so what will he gain? One strength, one one speed. He gained two res and two defense with three extra con. That's pretty good. So his stats currently sit at these values. Of course he wasn't really gaining any more strength. He doesn't need any more. 21 strength is good enough. So now he has 15 con, which means he can actually carry some really heavy maxes without speed penalty. He gained one speed, but he's got 16 speed. He's got a lot there. The res will help a ton. The defense game was really nice. Right, and I'm pretty sure that comes with a base crit rating. Yeah, so now he has a base crit rating of 22. Oh yeah, would make his dad into a warrior, right? Oh my god! Well, I can level up a healer doing that. 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So he can't even get there anyway. Technically, he could move there and purge, I think. That's actually the purge spot. I should have walked him there. But he should be able to survive one purge. And that's when he dies, and we have to restart. Where would you go then, Amelia? So many buff dudes now. I feel sorry for everyone. So we could take one turn off purge taking. And here we go. He's got no crit rating. He's got barely any hit rating. Druid Wars! Hi, <laughs> Lantasha, what'd you get? What? Ah! Well, Uwen levels up. So he's gained level 2. Oh, nearly a full promotion. Man, he got some speed! He got more speed! Oh, another thief! Oi! Damn it! I need to warp someone over to kill him. Actually, I need Tana to go. What I really wanted to get Tana is I was going to take her the, the promotional seal. Oi. If I left, if I leave this chest, will he come for it? So these guys can attack to that range. I know that I can get past. But I also need to stop taking the purge. Because essentially what I could end up with is being purged and boltinged on this turn. And that's your attack range, is it? I don't think you're moving because it's a seized throne mission. But we don't want anything to happen just in case. So I guess I'll have to move to here, instead of doing what I wanted to do, which sucks. Oh no, you can attack there, okay. I had some extra avoid though. I don't think the guy's going to chase me down. And the other option is to warp someone over. You have 11 res, do you? Damn it! 
Why then? I even know if Boating Man will bother, you know? And if I go there, something bad might happen. So what's probably best for me... Amelia, you're going over. This is what's happening. Amelia is going over to give chase with her seven speed. She'll probably catch him at the first chest. Damn it. Amelia's the safest unit to send. I'll leave that chest key for now. I'll leave her in there. This is nasty. At least I'll get a level up from there, I guess. We've nearly taken the entirety of Purge. Actually, I think we reach him before. So that's nice. I've basically had loads of people stand at their starting location for most of the game. Surely nothing bad's gonna happen now, right? I can't get Amelia back after all. <laughs> Just chase this guy down and murder him viciously. <laughs> Oi, get off my chest, basically. Get off my land. <laughs> Thief, no thiefing. Right, so one more purge to come. I've got Javelin on, right? Alright, what will happen is, is essentially, he'll use one more purge and on the next turn he'll attack me with... Oh, I need, I need, yeah, I could back off. No, no, I take the purge. I take the purge. I don't want backing off yet. I back off on the turn after the purge. They can meet after that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So her promotion's coming. Now is to see if we can take the boating from anyone. That's in the boating spot again. Right, yeah, Bowen coming to Amelia. A hit of 20, a damage of 12. I think we can tank that with Amelia, don't you? There's the purge. This one hit. We also know that Mr. There can't crit, so we're all good. Now, if I stand on... Is it here or here? It's there. If I stand on that spot as well, I'm really good for the purging, aren't I? My avoidance will go even more up. Uh, even more up avoidance. There we go. We've got rid of the purge tome, so we only have to worry about his divine, but we're not going to use that yet. Aha! Great. There is a match. What's this guy's bowling range again? Even if he moves, he can't get cool mag, I think. Would you like one of these, madame? I can just imagine Amelia's basically holding on to like the pillar, say like the pillar's the microphone behind going. <laughs> Trying to dodge it behind the pillar. Alright, so that's your range, is it? Well, I've got news for you, sir. If I put you there and use the Elysian Whip, life's not gonna be so good, is it? Alright, we get a choice between a Falco Knight, Swift Sky Warriors who shrug off magic attacks, equip swords and lances, gain swords, that's nice. We have Wyvern Riders, Wyvern Knight, 
Wyvern Riders who can pe pierce enemy defenses, equip Lance's skill pierce. It would seem really weird for her to change to a Wyvern. So I'm gonna stick with Falco. That's weird. What? <laughs> but they're Pegasus Knights. They can't change. That would be wrong. As to know, Tana is a Falco Knight, gaining Strength 2, Speed 2, Defense 2, Res 2, and some extra con. We can now use Swords. Oh, I can move more. No need to. Pretty fine, though. Right, I think a big boost of HP as well, maybe? Like 6? Something like that. A res of 16 is pretty good. Versus this guy's spell attack, which is 20. It's got a critical chance, but of course we've got the hop long guard on. So this guy's not going to have a good time if he moves. Right, let's take the bow in. It's better if Tana tanks them. Oh, he's got no hit chance now that Amelia's on the thing. Amelia's going to stand here for a bit then. Let's remove all challenge from the game. Okay, they're not going to move. You gits. I really want you to move. Right, attack of 22. You know who's perfect for that? Tana. Them stats. Hey, do you know what? About taking this guy out. I'm sure they'd love that. I can't be double with this spear. It only does 20 something damage. I hate enemies that don't move like that. Back here a little bit more. Well, actually, a little bit more. We've got a mission to do. Technically, Uren's perfect for it. Oh, wait a second, Uren, you could just get the chest, though. What'd you get? A tomahawk. We didn't need one of them. Maybe I'll take out the second one, then. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. What's your movement range now? Oh, well out of range of everything that's going on. I'll take that. Now we need to...